We have an NHL trade to go along with this NHL busy day of news today. We have a trade between the Canucks and the Chicago Blackhawks. We'll discuss the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have an NHL trade to talk about tonight. It's been a very busy news day, of course, dominated by the headlines created by the signing of Patrick Kane and the termination of Corey Perry today. But we have yet another story to talk about tonight, and that's Anthony Beauvillier of the Vancouver Canucks has been traded to the Chicago Blackhawks for a fifth-round selection. Obviously, the Blackhawks have an opening on their roster now with Corey Perry uh, being terminated or unconditional waivers for the purpose of contract termination. It'll be official as of tomorrow. Uh, the Blackhawks also have lots of salary cap space availability. Perry was making $4 million bucks, So they essentially bring in another player uh, who's uh, not as old as Perry, of course, but still uh, you know, a, you know, a younger veteran, you could say, uh, making similar amount of money. Uh, of course, Beauvillier is 26 years old. Uh, he was uh, in the final year of his contract with Vancouver. It was pretty apparent he probably wasn't going to have a long-term future there. Of course, he came over to the Canucks in the Bo Horvat trade last year when they traded their former captain to the New York Islanders. So Beauvillier, of course, was drafted by the Islanders, got a start there, scored some big goals for the Islanders during some of their uh, deeper playoff runs, good friends and good linemates with Matthew Barzell at times as well. Uh, but unfortunately, Beauvillier in the last year or two of his tenure with the Islanders found himself being somewhat inconsistent. So he became expendable when Horvat became available. Uh, last year, he actually ended up putting up a career high in points. Uh, he had 20 points in 33 games with Vancouver after being acquired in the Horvat deal. Uh, so he had a really good start in that sense. Uh, and he already had 20 points with the Islanders prior to the trade. So he had a 40-point campaign, which turns out to be the most so far in his uh, young career here. But, of course, so far this year, uh, he's had a much slower start. Uh, only has two goals, six assists. Um, of course, the Canucks are, are playing very well. A lot of their top guys are getting a lot more of the ice time. And it just uh, kind of became a situation where they don't see him being part of the long-term future. And um, they need some much-needed much salary cap flexibility. We know the Vancouver Canucks wanted to make – room to try to upgrade the blue line especially and now they're going to have an option to do that by getting a four million dollar salary off the books a lot of other teams wouldn't have taken the full cap hit but chicago does which is why because they're taking such a, a big cap hit on for them minimizes the return i think Bellevue in most other circumstances would have generated a better trade value if you think about the fact he was a 40 point player last year and has you know a decent resume for a young player. Obviously, you know, some inconsistencies in the last few years, but generally speaking, you think he'd generate more than a fifth round pick, but it's mainly because of the cap hit and just the, the cap world we find ourselves in the NHL and everybody being so tight and not having any room. When you're able to offload a contract like that, if you want the team to, to absorb the whole hit, then it's going to cost you. It's going to reduce what you're getting in return. So he should be able to get a big role with Chicago and have a chance to play with some young, exciting players for the remainder of the season to see if he can't uh, have himself a strong finish here to set himself up for next year and beyond with a, with a new contract to continue and extend his NHL career a little further, whether that be with Chicago or somewhere else. So let me know your thoughts on the Beauvillier trade. To the Blackhawks, we'll be back a little bit later with another news video recapping all the other news and rumors from around the entire NHL. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. This is the place to get all your updates on all 32 NHL teams. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.